What's up, guys? Uh, I just bought this today. Uh, Husqvarna 55 Rancher. Never owned Husqvarna. Never used one. This is pretty much the first time I've ever seen one up close. Uh, it's 18 inch bar. Uh, I was on Craigslist and the guy said had a bunch of old chainsaws for sale. He's selling them individually or we'll part them out. Uh, I looked at this one. He said it ain't getting any fire. Uh, he said the compression is low. And uh, he says he can't get at the fire or nothing, so he gave it to me for $25. And uh, I gave him 25 bucks. come home, and it, uh, from what I've seen at the store, that don't look like the original Switch. I don't know if it's a... Uh, I think the originals had sliders from what I researched on the internet about them. Uh, it don't have a decompression valve, which I think most of them do or don't. The only thing wrong with it is it's missing a screw down here on the cover and right there. Air filter's pretty clean. The bar's in good shape, just ain't got no paint on it. It looks like it's got a steel chain on it, but I'm not quite sure because it, yeah, yeah, it's a steel chain. But uh, I, I took the cover off and started looking at it. The switch was wired backwards. Uh, the spark plug was loose. Tightened it all up and put some gas in it, and this damn thing fired right up. It has a hard time staying idling, though. Uh, I think it might need some adjustment. I'm not quite sure about it. But uh, I don't know how to mess with that. I know that there's the idle. They're low and high end. I don't know what... I don't know how it works, but I gave $25 for a running Husqvarna 55 Rancher, pretty much. I just thought I'd share that. That's the third saw in my collection. I got a, a steel 460, an MS-170, and I got a, I got a 55 wrencher. Well, that's it, guys.